Hello again, it's good to see you. I hope that you're doing well, that you've had an excellent start to your week. Let's shop our stashes. Um, I've been in the process of going through my makeup collection to update my inventory for you. And I found some products in my collection that I'm going to pull into rotation as I pan similar shades. Um, and also I found some long forgotten products that I've realized if I combine them with some things I can make products that I love and that I'm excited to reach for. So I wanted to share those combos with you to give you some new ideas to shop your stash or maybe um, make use of some products that have been sitting around because you're not particularly fond of them at the moment. So let's start off with the combo that I'm wearing on my lips. The, I love a, a vampy purple lip, but there's no reason to have tons of this shade in your collection because it's not necessarily an everyday wearable shade. But if, in the winter time right now, this is ideal. So what's on my top lip is the Revlon Matte Kissable Balm Stain in the shade Shameless. I love, love, love this pencil formula, but I realize not everybody is a fan of the mint taste or the fact that it becomes a little bit more challenging to apply once you wear off the point of it because, you know, when you have that rounded tip, it makes it a little bit more challenging to get around your lips and not have it bleed all over the place. So if you love this color but want a more user-friendly <laughs> formula, you can pick up the Matte Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Glam. I have this on my lower lip. It is literally the same exact color, the same exact finish. It just tastes like vanilla instead of the mint. So if you prefer the Milani formula, Matte Glam is literally the same thing. Like I said, Matte Glam, Matte Shameless. If you want to continue shopping your stash and you picked up those Bite Beauty, um, lip gloss sets that came out at Christmas. I don't have the full set because I received um, just a couple of them for a Christmas gift, but the Bite Beauty lip gloss in the shade number nine is perfect on top of either of these two shades. So here's what number nine looks like. And even if you didn't pick up the Bite gloss set, I'm thinking they probably have a permanent shade that's close to this. It's absolutely beautiful. And I also love to pair this gloss with the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Berry Hot. So kind of gives you a way to amp up a lighter purple. Or if you have the Urban Decay Lipstick in Matte Bittersweet, this is also very beautiful on top of that as well. So wanted to share those options with you. Then kind of going into a combo that pleasantly surprised me. I was going through my color tattoos to make sure that I didn't have any that were continuing to dry out, to expire from the ones that I decided to keep from the last declutter. And the color tattoo that really stood out to me, caught my attention, was the shade Deep Forest. It's one of the matte color tattoos from the leather collection in this very olive army green shade. And at first I thought about decluttering it because I don't typically wear a lot of really dark shades like this because they make my hooded eyes look small, let's get real. But the color is beautiful and what made me decide to keep it was pulling out my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Because that shade Gilded Ganache looks beautiful on top of the Deep Forest color tattoo. And Gilded Ganache is one of the ones I'm not necessarily looking forward to panning until I you know, realized that this color tattoo is the perfect match for it. So here's Gilded Ganache, it's a really brown, hints of green in it but it's definitely a glitter balm it wears more brown than green if you put it on top of the uh, maybelline color tattoo in deep forest it maintains more of those green tones and it's you know kind of settles down that intense chalky shimmer that is present in that eyeshadow pan so this makes me excited to pan Gilded Ganache. So pull out that Deep Forest color tattoo if you have it and your Too Faced Chocolate Bar, try it out, let me know what you think of it because it's making me more excited um, to pull out this palette as I go through the Stila and the Light palette. And I'm even thinking of using the shade Bubbly from Stila and the Light and maybe Salted uh, Caramel or Caramel, however you prefer to say it. And I don't know, a deeper brown like the um, Driftwood from Steel on the Light or something from the Chocolate Bar. So hope you enjoy that combo because it's, it's beautiful. Then another combo that pleasantly surprised me was the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Rose Gold. I'm not a huge fan of the way this looks on my eyes. It just... I'm not a huge fan of the shade on its own and over eyeshadows. It just, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. It wasn't like the moonlight shade at all, but 
the color is really beautiful and I decided to keep it because I found another product in my collection. It's kind of similar to the, the Benefit What's Up highlighting. Maybe a little bit more intense gold, but very similar. But I decided to keep it because as I went through my blushes to update my inventory, I found this long forgotten blush. It's a MAC Mineralized formula in the shade Amber Glow. It looks beautiful on top of that Laura Mercier rose gold. So I'm thinking of trying this out as kind of a highlight, like not as intensified as it is on my hand right now, but I think it might make a really pretty subtle glow. And the makeup order in me is not letting me declutter this right now because it's got my name on it. So I figured let's try this out, see how I like it. I'm thinking it might pair really well with the Maybelline Color Tattoo and the um, Too Faced shade. So I might try this out. I might even try this out together on my eyes, even though it's a cheat color. But that made me very excited to find another use for a MAC product in my collection. Mm. Then the next thing I have straight up dupes for you. If you are a huge fan or you've wanted to get your hands on the Benefit Blush in the shade Bella Bomba, because I don't believe you can find this anymore. If you have the um, Benefit Cheeky Sweet Spot tin that came out last Christmas, that Bella Bomba is not as pigmented as the original blush formula. So if you want something that has the exact same color, exact same intensity, go to Target and pick up the NYX blush in the shade Pinched. It's literally the same thing. Literally, I mean, it's uncanny. Un <laughs> so don't worry that you can't get your hands on these color or on this color anymore because NYX Pinched is the exact same thing on your cheeks. So wanted to share that dupe with you since it is beyond hard to find this even on eBay these days. So perfect dupe for that. And if you want a lip color to amp up your routine with that, and you don't have this shade. This is the MAC Limited Edition shade in No Faux Pas. It's a beautiful hot pink shade. It pairs perfectly with that Bella Bomba blush. A close alternative. I found a drugstore lipstick for you. So here is MAC's No Faux Pas. Something very similar is the Wet n Wild lipstick in Smokin' Hot Pink. Very, very similar little bit more rosy tone than that. They're coming off different on camera, but in person, very, very similar when you wear them on the lips. So, smoking Hot Pink, if you were a fan of Max No Faux Pas and you want a really bright, fiery pink to wear this spring, it's gonna be absolutely fun to wear. And perfect combo with either the NYX Pinched or the Bella Bomba Blush. Then, let's go into kind of the jelly, like, raspberry jam kind of lipsticks. The reason I thought about this is because I am really thinking I might declutter this Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the shade Melted Berry. It's a beautiful color, but this lipstick is very high maintenance, and I'm not reaching for it because it is so high maintenance. The color of it reminds me very much of like a raspberry jelly donut, just very intense, pinky red, very deep, like not quite burgundy, but not red kind of tones. And so I went through my collection because I want to keep this shade in my collection. So I realized the dupe for it is the Milani lipstick in matte flirty. Once this Too Faced lipstick dries down, they're literally the same thing. But if you want that glossier jelly donut kind of feel to it, put some lip gloss on top of the matte flirty and you'll get a very similar effect to the melted berries. So wanted to share those two with you because this formula is not high maintenance and this lipstick, yes, this one smells like the vanilla, not the Jolly Rancher scent. So easy, easy and comfortable to wear on the lips. Then let's go into kind of the mauve category because I need to shop my stash. I'm getting ready to finish the bite beauty pencil or crayon in the shade Glossé. Okay, next is my lipstick in the shade Glossé from Bite Beauty. I'm currently panning this for Finish 7 by Spring, so I wanna go into my stash and find some comparable shades so I can continue panning without having to go purchase new makeup. So here is a swatch of the Bite Lip Crayon in the shade Glossé. These are going to be the lip colors that I'm continuously reaching for out of my collection to kind of mimic a similar color and feel on my lips. 
The first one that is extremely close, I interchange these out now as we speak, is the Milani lipstick in the shade Rose Femme. It has that same brown but still mauve tint that Glossé has, a little bit creamier of a formula, but still has a similar effect on the lips. So here is the Rose Femme versus the Bite Beauty Glossé. Then if I want something a little bit more matte, but still kind of in the same trend, the one I'm going to reach for is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade Touch of Spice. This one's also slightly pinker, but on the lips, I'm gonna be the only one that is able to tell the difference once it's on. So there's Touch of Spice, the Bite Beauty Glossé versus the Milani Rose Femme. And one of the um, lipsticks that I received for Christmas, I got the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. Very similar, a little bit more red, a little bit darker, but along the same trendy feel of these lipsticks so that we can continue that kind of Kylie Jenner uh, feel into the spring. So really looking forward to those. And, and other, uh, pardon me, the other lipstick um, that I panned before that's also very similar to this is the Too Faced La Creme Lipstick in Pink Chocolate. Pretty much the same thing. Or um, Bite Beauty's Rhubarb is a little bit more pink, but again, still kind of has a similar feel to these if you want to stay with the mauve theme. It's just easy wearable lipsticks. Like every, every brand's gonna have their version of that shade because it is flattering on so many skin tones. Then the last combo I have for you is um, the MAC Lipstick in Nouvelle Vogue. I believe you can pick this up via the MAC website or maybe even Macy's, I don't know. It's an easy everyday warm tone pink. Here is Nouvelle Vogue right here. If you want a drugstore alternative, the NYX lipstick in the shade T-Rose is very close. They're going to swatch differently on my skin, but once you put them on the lips, it's really, really tough to tell. You're gonna be the only one that knows. Nobody else will be able to see the difference. So this is NYX T-Rose versus Max Nouvelle Vogue. So that's about it. Thank you for taking the time to sit down and, and check out how to shop your stash. Have fun and good luck with continuing to shop your makeup and project panning. Be on the lookout. Tomorrow is going to be another looks like in the um, Sass Stuff with Champagne series. I'm going to be showing you how I would do my current look using the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette. And I'm, then I believe next week I'm going to use Drugstore drugstore or maybe a Too Faced palette. I haven't completely decided, or maybe one of the Naked series. I've got kind of a couple more videos in that Sassed Up With Champagne look. So lots coming your way, and I believe my Pin That Palette update is going to be on Friday. So I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Catch you later.